everybody, I want to tell you what's going on in my garden. It is December and I want to talk about strawberries in this video. So I posted a video about a month ago when I planted my strawberries. Go back and look at it. And I talked about the best way to grow strawberries in Florida. And so this is an update. So you can see that my strawberries are very healthy, very strong. They have really taken off. They're dark, green, glossy, healthy, healthy, healthy. Now, I told you that they are very susceptible to diseases, which is why they are so heavily sprayed in Florida. So I am going to give my strawberry plants the best chance to grow healthy, pesticide-free strawberries that I can. And that means that early on in the season, while they're developing leaves and a good healthy root system, I'm actually gonna use something that's not organic and it's called Captain. And I have sprayed my, my plants once with it and I'm gonna spray it again. I'm gonna spray them again today and then I will be done. Um, and I know for some of you who are like, oh my gosh, she's using something that's not organic. Well, I went ahead and I cut off all of the fruit. There were about 50 flowers on these strawberry plants, on these 20 strawberry plants, about 50, 50 at least 50 flowers. There were like probably more than that because there were like some of the plants had like eight flowers on them each. So there probably were like a hundred flowers. So I had a hundred strawberries growing and I cut them all off. I know, shocker, it was hard. But the reason why is I want to spray with Captain one more time. This will be the second time and give these plants just the best possible start. You know, once they're nice and big and healthy and strong, they've really got their own immune system growing. But when you first start them, they're a little bit vulnerable. And so using uh, a powerful fungicide that's not organic is an option, but remove all the fruit because you don't want to eat that fruit. Does that make sense? I hope that does. So I don't want to eat any fruit that's grown with pesticides. So I remove all that fruit. I'm going to go ahead and spray one last time. So I mixed up one tablespoon in this 32 ounce spare bottle. That's about a liter. A liter is 33 ounces. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to douse these plants really, really well and make sure that they are completely covered in this captain. And then in the morning, I'll go ahead and I'll rinse it all off. Remember, we always if we're gonna treat our plants with anything, we wanna do it in the evening, and then when the sun is not so bright, and then we wanna rinse off in the morning. Now that's especially important in the south because you don't want your plants to get a sunburn. So spray in the evening and rinse off in the morning. And I have gone through, like I said, I've removed all the flowers, and I removed any brown leaves that I saw too. And I'm going to spray. And I do have, you can see this little plant just struggling there. So I'm going to make sure that it gets a good dose of this captain. And then that'll be it for the season. I'm now going to let, after this, I'm going to let the plants go to flower and start producing fruit. You know, the other reason to do this in the south, strawberries are, um, they're um, annuals. And so... You know, we, we don't start with seeds. I have a whole video about that. And they do produce the best fruit when it's between 50 and 70 degrees out. So we've had some cold weather. It's winter. It is December in Florida. We also have some hot days. We, like, we still get into the upper 80s. And so, um, you know, the, any fruit that I'm producing right now maybe won't taste so great anyways. So it doesn't hurt at all to remove the fruit and let these plants get nice and strong because ultimately they're gonna bear more fruit by doing that. And then I'm gonna get a lot of fruit um, through winter, spring, and it's gonna be nice, healthy, huge fruit, um, sweet because the weather's cool. So now once, so in the morning, like I said, I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna rinse all that captain off. So never fear, my strawberries will not see any of it. And then I still have to deal with um, fungus though, because it'll still be happening. Um, not as much in the winter as in the fall and spring, but I'll still have it. Um, and so that's when I switch over to this. Dr. Broner's Sal Suds and Super Clean Neem Oil. A half of a tablespoon 
and the solo sprayer here and I will spray those once a week and that will that will do a really good job of taking care of the fungus it's not nearly as strong as the captain um, but you know like I said the captain's just kind of to give them all a head start and then I'm gonna take over once I have strawberries growing with um, this organic natural non-toxic pest control so I hope this helps you guys strawberries in Florida are a beautiful crop heavily heavily sprayed in Florida with toxic pesticides one of the most toxic fruits that you can buy and um, but you know what we can grow them in the tower garden give them the very best chance to produce healthy pesticide free fruits and uh, it's gonna be the best strawberries you've ever eaten so I hope this gives you some great information if you have a better way to treat strawberries for fungus I invite you to leave comments below if you have any questions send me an email so you guys have a great day